So after watching The Queen's Gambit, I found that the series as a whole didn't really interest me as much. Um, but I did find it interesting that Beth, the main character, takes tranquilizers in order to enhance her chess planning skills. Um, the use of drugs to enhance one's skills is an interesting concept to me. I like the idea of being able to alter your thinking, your physical being, or improve upon the way in which you think through the use of drugs. I mean, if I could take a drug that enhanced certain skills, I probably would take that. Um, although taking performance enhancing drugs can be beneficial in taking you to the next level of whatever you're trying to do, um, as we can see in the show, there are definitely drawbacks to taking these drugs, and um, you can even form a dependency on them. Uh, throughout the show, we see that Beth is addicted to tranquilizers and experiences withdrawal from them after not taking them for a while. And uh, she even overdoses at a young age. But we see that as she grows up and gets older, um, she's able to control her addiction uh, to the tranquilizers. Um, eventually, we see that Beth is able to play chess without tranquilizers, just as well as she was able to play with tranquilizers. And this actually leads to her victory at the Moscow Invitational. Um, and the use of drugs to alter one's state of mind, physical traits, reminds me of the mushroom that Alice eats in Alice in Wonderland. Um, when she meets the caterpillar, and uh, the caterpillar gives her the advice that one side of the mushroom that it was on uh, makes her grow taller, and then the other side makes her grow shorter. Um, so once she gets this uh, mushroom that can change her size, um, a good, you know, a part of the book or part of Alice's journey in Alan, uh, part of Alice's journey in Wonderland is um, Alice trying to master the properties of the mushroom in order to gain control over her fluctuating size. Um, and this is actually similar to uh, the tranquilizers that Beth uh, uses in the Queen's Gambit because um, the drug is, the tranquilizers are used to enhance her chess playing skills, just like the mushroom is used to enhance uh, Alice's physical traits to help her in some way in uh, Wonderland. Um, and in both instances, uh, we see that um, these girls are able to, um, you know, initially, uh, they, they, it's kind of hard for them to control uh, their use of these drugs, but over time, they're able to, to control them and help them get through whatever, whatever they're trying to go through, like Alice in, you know, in her journey in Wonderland and Beth uh, while she's playing chess. And in the end, both of them actually are able to do or accomplish what the drugs were helping them to do without them using the drugs. So we see that Alice is able to increase in size um, in the courtroom without eating the mushroom. And Beth is able to win the Moscow Invitational without using the tranquilizers. Um, and I think that this shows uh, uh, the girls maturing over time and at first needing something to help them mature, but in the end, uh, they've matured enough to the point where they don't need uh, any drugs in order to enhance them in, what, in the ways that they were trying to be enhanced. 